So I just released a video talking about how social media could be one of the next big trends coming on the pike for blockchain technology. It's a place with a lot of untapped potential that blockchain hasn't really cracked the code on yet. But there's a lot of ways that blockchain can actually improve social media like we talked about in that video. And there's a massive pot of gold waiting for somebody who actually cracks this and pulls it off. So in this video, I actually want to talk about a specific project that's eyeing the problem of decentralized social media with blockchain that I think has a really good chance of pulling this off. I'm going to talk about that in this video as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis and what you need to understand about this. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step, start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So we just had some official news come out recently that the major DeFi giant Aave is actually throwing their name in the hat and creating a social media protocol built on top of the Ethereum blockchain. So one of the reasons this is such a big deal in the first place is Aave is one of the biggest decentralized applications on top of the Ethereum protocol right now. It's a liquidity protocol. It's a savings and lending app where you can basically deposit cryptocurrency on one side and borrow it on the other. They're one of the first major players in the DeFi space actually cracking this problem, and they've rolled out a number of innovations along the way. So they have a pretty big track record of successfully creating new things that solve novel problems with blockchain technology, and for that reason, I'm super excited for their plans to actually create social media on the blockchain. And so what are their plans for doing this? Well, we've seen different you know breadcrumbs drop online line from Stani, the creator of Ave, as to what they're going to do. We see this tweet from July 17th where he says, you know, since Jack, you know, the creator of Twitter, talking about trying to create decentralized finance applications on top of the Bitcoin blockchain, then Ave should build Twitter on top of Ethereum. And he's talking about how, you know, Ave will lead this effort. And next we see another breadcrumb on July 27th where he says, yeah, you know, DeFi composability is cool, but wait until you see social media composability. So what does all this mean? Well, here's the insights into what they're actually doing. So Ave is creating a social media protocol and they're going to roll out a Twitter alternative based on top of Ethereum as the first product offering. So basically that means that they're going to create something where you can build multiple different types of social media applications on top of the same protocol that runs on top of the blockchain and the first app that's going to be supported on that is a Twitter clone. And at this point in the video some of you might be rolling your eyes and saying like hey why do we need a Twitter clone on top of the blockchain? After all we've seen a lot of different social media experiments actually launch with blockchain technology in the past with varying degrees of success but none of them have really taken off and captured a large market share quite like decentralized finance or DeFi has or even non-fungible tokens and NFTs. So why this? Like, why, why is there a chance that Twitter could actually work on the blockchain right now? Well, part of it comes down to the actual network that is being built on top of right now and the actual protocol design that Aave has put forward. So first of all, they plan on launching this protocol on top of the Ethereum blockchain and the state of blockchain technology now and where it's headed in the near future is vastly different from where the blockchain specific applications were when other social media protocols launched in the past. We simply have more users, we have more use cases, and we're at this critical point where the technology behind Ethereum itself is actually getting a lot better really soon that supports creating something like social media on top of the blockchain. And that last video I published about how social media with blockchain technology could be huge, I mentioned Vitaly Buterin, you know, the mastermind behind Ethereum, his talk at ECC, where he supports this idea, where basically the blockchain is becoming faster and cheaper to use, and now it's opening the door for all these different use cases like social media. And it supports all these new possibilities that you can't really do with traditional social media, like censorship resistance, decoupling of protocols with applications, built-in economic incentives, and a lot more. So let's break this down and actually see how Aave plans to implement this protocol and how it could be big for decentralized social media. All right, so let's visualize how this app works so that you can see why it's such a big deal. So first of all, like I was saying a second ago, basically it decouples the protocol for social media from the actual applications themselves. So what does that mean? Well, basically it's going to be a protocol that's built by smart contracts on the blockchain chain also with IPFS to let you create any kind of social media that you want to, okay? So essentially, you might have the same protocol powering multiple different applications. So, you know, the whole idea is that they're going to roll out a Twitter clone on the blockchain, which probably has some benefits beyond just how Twitter works today, but that would be powered by a protocol based on, you know, smart contracts with blockchain. But that this same protocol might power some sort of other social media application that has a different design set built into it. Maybe it's not based like Twitter, maybe it's more like Instagram, but you have the same protocol that's powering both of these applications. Or maybe you even have two applications within the same social media space that compete.
compete with one another. So what are some benefits of this? So we talk about censorship resistance being a pretty important part of decentralized social media versus you know centralized social media. So you know, deplatforming is an issue that a lot of people are starting to care more about. You know, they like they don't like the fact that somebody can just be taken off a social media platform on a whim, or maybe like certain posts are promoted and some are suppressed based upon algorithms. There's possibility for there to be an agenda behind these things. And so with blockchain technology, you remove the censorship, you know, at the protocol layer for these types of things. Now, some people will say, hey, we do want some sort of censorship in social media, let's say for adult content, for example, with, you know, kids or you know, maybe you just don't want to see it in your application. Well, you can actually create a way for the applications themselves, like the app layer right here, uh, to implement censorship. Maybe you can opt into this censorship or maybe you just trust, you know, one company to provide you with a good user experience to censor out things that you don't want to see. At the end of the day, you could have competition, you know, between companies so that you could actually preserve, you know, integrity for this censorship within the ecosystem because that's one problem with social media now. The giants, there's no transparency to what they're actually doing. But in this case, everything will be fully transparent at the protocol level and then apps can compete with one another to provide the best, you know, user experience for the end user. So the next thing is if this protocol, like I said, is a generic social media protocol, so it can support multiple different types of social media applications. Maybe one works more like Twitter, maybe one works more like Instagram. But the crazy thing is, this is going to open up, you know, a world of possibilities to new types of social media that we might ha not have, you know, created before. We have all new things like peer-to-peer -peer payments, economic incentives that we can add to these applications, and other big benefits like the entire uh, social graph or friend network that you have on one social media application could transfer over to the other one. Because don't forget, whenever you're using the Ethereum blockchain, like you're not a user of a specific application, you're a user of the entire network. And so you're the same person on every single app that you interact on. It's all a public database, it's a public blockchain, and the information about you isn't siloed inside of each of application. And this has other big benefits like, you know, your overall reputation. If you want to hold that up on a blockchain, then it transfers from app to app. And any social connections that you make on one app will just immediately transfer to the next. And there's so many new possibilities created with blockchain technology inside these social media apps that won't be possible in other applications. So you might actually be able to organize people on these social platforms around, you know, things they own in the blockchain. Maybe NFT holders get certain access to certain communities. There's different ways to introduce financial incentives, maybe to post good content or also moderate bad content or fake accounts. It's like think about all the Twitter scam bots that you see out there or think about all the scammers you see like cam commenting down this YouTube section below. What if you could in financially incentivize people to report fake accounts and then clean up all the bad activity on these social media platforms? That would be a way to create a better user experience for everybody. And then you have these built-in economic incentives that are you know made possible with, with cryptocurrency and blockchain. And so these are just some ideas about what's possible with social media and blockchain. And I'm really excited to see what the team at Aave comes up with, the protocol that they design, because ultimately I think at the end of the day that the community is going to come up with new and novel ways to use this because just like Stani said he said yeah you know DeFi composability is cool but wait until you see social media composability so what does that mean well it's the ability to plug one protocol into the other instead of DeFi one of the reasons that decentralized finance on top of Ethereum is valuable is because of what's you know called Ethereum's network effect there's lots of different applications built on top of it lots of different users lots of money and all these applications are permissionless so you can plug one app into the other and then make brand new apps and the same thing will be true for social media composability with blockchain. And if anybody has enough reputation and credibility to pull this off, then I think Aave's got a pretty good shot at doing it. And even better, I do think we're at this critical inflection point where this type of thing can start to work. We have enough users in the space to generate the kind of network effect that you would need for a social media application to take off, particularly around the Ethereum platform. We're starting to see more people get used to DeFi, more used to NFTs, and just generally interacting with blockchain user experience to make this natural transition to over blockchain social media. And last but not least, we're about to cross some pretty big technical barriers to making this feasible in the first place. Faster, cheaper transactions on top of Ethereum, enhanced scalability, and a co final completed migration over to Ethereum 2.0. So let me know what you all think down in the comment section below. What are some social media ideas that you want to see built on top of the blockchain? What do you think is possible with this new technology? And what do you think about this? Do we really need a Twitter clone on the blockchain? Is blockchain social media going to be a total flop? I want to know your opinion. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They like you to be courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you went into the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University. <laughs>